Hello, and welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Vince Penman. And I'm Allison Tupperine. Today we're looking into new technology in the healthcare market. There is a new small portable device that locates veins. This non-invasive method reduces the common problem of a nurse sticking you multiple times before finding the vein. And the problem of me smacking that same nurse open-handed to her face. A nurse can use the device by holding it over the skin. The veins are instantly highlighted and appear clearly on the surface. Hemoglobin, a protein found in blood, absorbs the infrared light, so the veins show up as dark lines on the otherwise red patch of skin. This great piece of engineering work will surely improve the getting a needle experience for both the patient and the healthcare practitioner. Fans of the iPhone claim it can do just about anything, but what about a patient who wants an electrocardiogram recorded from the comfort of his own home? Yes, there's an app for that. Dr. David Albert at AliveCore has just developed a new application for the iPhone 4 that allows users to measure the heart's electrical activity. AliveCore believes that this app will produce the same quality measurement and analysis as standard hospital electrocardiograms or EKG or ECG monitors. The application requires a special iPhone case that has two metal electrodes on the back. The electrodes allow the iPhone to record cardiac events in the same way that a hospital ECG device would. You can measure your ECG either by holding the iPhone in your hands or by placing the electrodes directly on your chest. The iPhone can store an image of the ECG and send a PDF file to the user's doctor for analysis. The Alive ECG app isn't available for sale yet. It still has to be tested in clinical trials and approved as a medical device by the FDA, which as anyone who has gone through the process knows, should be done around the time pigs fly and the Cubs win the World Series. It'll be on the iPhone 10 that you can control with your mind. More and more tech-savvy people are switching to tablet and mobile devices. But for people with severe physical disabilities, ordinary touchscreen gadgets are nearly impossible to use. But now, engineering students at the University of Michigan have developed an iPad app for physically disabled users. It has a sequencing interface rather than buttons and boxes. Chelsea LeBlanc, an engineering student, explains. Right now, in order to use those applications, they literally have to have like a parent or a guardian or their physical therapist type those for them. Um, so we thought the idea of creating an app that would allow them to do that would just be really cool. So the real goal of the application is that you can move around the screen without having to target any of the specific areas with your finger. Instead, you just wait until the area is highlighted and then touch it. At Living Good Engineering in Colorado, engineers are designing platforms that organize a patient's IV bags, tubes, pumps, oxygen, and electronic monitors into one convenient space-saving device. These platforms give patients, healthcare workers, and visitors more space by removing all the individual pieces of equipment that were previously attached to walls and beds. Living Good uses CreoDirect modeling suite of design tools to produce 3D images of the product. Creo allows the entire team to collaborate and make changes to the design at any stage, ensuring that Living Good maintains its time to market advantage. You can try direct modeling yourself with the free for lifetime version of Creo Elements Direct from PTC. Just go to ptc.com slash go slash modeling PE. That's it for this week's product design show at engineering.com. Join us next week as we explore the exciting world of motorcycle design.